Hello, it's me. <laughs> and is this better without glasses? Oof, not for me. So we're gonna put them back on and you'll just have to deal with the reflection. <laughs> Hello, it's me. And today I wanna talk about something that is very, very basic. Like, very basic. <laughs> and that is the differences between Wicca and witchcraft. Now you may already know the differences between Wicca and witchcraft but you may also not because there is a lot of confusing statements on the internet and in books about the differences. I think the most popular statement that people will just use to explain is that Wic all Wiccans are witches but not all witches are Wiccans. And that's all they say. <laughs> and you're like, I don't know what that means. Or sometimes they will just say that Wicca is the religion of the witch and leave it at that. So then you're left to think, well, all witches are religious. All witches are Wiccans. But that's not true either. So, Wicca. Wicca is the religion of the witch. It came to be in the 1950s in the United Kingdom. Uh, by a man named Gerald Gardner. He published a book in mm, 1954 called Everyday Witchcraft. This book was published literally, literally right after, like right after the UK finally made it legal to even practice witchcraft, which is wild. So, in this book, Gerald makes a lot of claims. Um, a lot of claims and it is wildly debated whether these claims are factual at all because he has no physical evidence to whether they it is true we just have to take his word for it but ultimately it doesn't matter whether the contents in which he put in this book are true or not because the book stuck and it worked out and it informed generations of us going forward on not just Wicca but witchcraft which is in the title so What's in the book? In the book, which by the way, it's very short. You should check it out just for posterity's sake. So in the book, he details a long history of how he came to these teachings and how he is now sharing them with you. And he says that these are tr this is a tradition that's been passed down to him for a really long time. And in the book, he lays out his own set of morals and ethics. He lays out a dogma about what Wicca is. Wicca, he says, involves a coven, a group of people that all work with a high priest and a high priestess, and they in turn work with two gods, one god, one goddess, usually the lunar goddess, which is this monolithic female entity and a monolithic male entity called the Horned God. He comes up with these eight, he collects eight Sabbaths from different cultures and pushes them together, primarily Celtic and Nordic slash Anglo-Saxon. And he pushes them together and he comes with this, up with a metaphys, uh, metaphor, uh, me, blah, 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 metaphorical, I kept wanting to say metaphysical. He comes up with a metaphorical story to go along with these spokes in the wheel with this wheel of sabbats about the god and the goddess and what they're doing at each point during the year and on these holidays that sticks as well even though it really has no historical backing to it so he creates a system of rules like i said a system he comes up with this idea of uh, the wiccan read now pause because he does have contemporaries at this point it's not just gerald gardner pushing his own agenda onto burgeoning neo-pagans. There are people like Crowley, uh, Starhawk, um, Raymond Buckland. There's a lot of contemporaries at this point that are all popping up at once to be like, hey, there's this thing called witchcraft. Remember that from history? Remember that from fairy tales? Well, here's what it's really like. And guess what? People are still practicing it. It never really went away. So with that said, he comes up with these rules, like the, and he puts out this idea of the Wiccan Reed, which is really just the golden rule that is found in all the world's religions, for the most part, and philosophies. And that's treat others the way you want to be treated, right? So it's do as ye will, or do, wait, what is it? And ye harm none, do as ye will. That's the golden rule. 
No one can argue with that. No one can argue with that. <laughs> it's a great rule. But that's not the only rule he puts forth. He puts forth puts forth tons of things, not necessarily consciously. But anywho, so Wicca. Wicca is a structured way to practice witchcraft. Now, what is witchcraft? Witchcraft is one way out of many to practice magic. Now, if we were to define magic, that would be a whole other video. But for this video, let's just say that magic is an energy source. We'll just say that for now. So, witchcraft is one way to sculpt magical energy and put it out into the world. So, it's primarily European, that style of magic, witchcraft. And witchcraft has become so inclusive that it's hard to say what witchcraft originally was. So witchcraft embraces herbalism, divination, crystals, astral projection, spell work, candle stuff. Uh, there is so much to witchcraft. Witchcraft took in all of the world's occult teachings and made them its own. Okay, that is witchcraft. Witchcraft is whatever you, the practitioner, want it to be. Witchcraft is huge. Now, witchcraft, since it's so loose, has really no set rules or dogma because it has no religion. Witchcraft in itself is just a way of living, a way of interacting with the world, a way of crafting and sculpting magical energy. So, Witchcraft is not Wicca, because Wicca has gods and such and such and such. Witchcraft inherently does not have gods, only if you choose for it to be there. <laughs> um, there can be Christian witches, Jewish witches, Muslim witches, Buddhist witches, Hindu witches. You can be an atheist and practice magic, because it doesn't ask for you to believe in a higher power. It really just asks you to believe in yourself and your ability to craft energy in the universe. But you can even take that out of it and practice witchcraft and know that it's not real. That you're just using the power of positive thinking and that these physical rituals and things that you were doing are just helping your brain get from point A to point B. You can look at it any way you want. But essentially, Wicca embraces witchcraft but adds in some structure, which arguably is needed. And it adds in some answers to questions you probably already have. Witchcraft is loose. <laughs> you just jump in there and you start crafting your own way through witchcraft. It's just, it's just magic. It's just spell work. It's just stuff. <laughs> um, I normally like to give book recommendations um, and website recommendations as for jumping off points and everything that I talk about. However, Wicca and witchcraft are so huge, and we do live in the year 2021 as of this recording, that you can go out anywhere and find a book on Wicca and witchcraft. You can type it in on your on your computer on your phone on whatever and find so many resources so many for free it does not cost money to get into witchcraft or wicca it's wild so just go and go and search go go immerse yourself into wicca or witchcraft or both and you will find your own niche your own your own way of being and doing and practicing okay um, I hope that was kind of helpful. Wicca and witchcraft are different things, but they can work together. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.